Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man's Ass of Photography. I'm Eric. Um, it's going to be a great night tonight. It's supposed to be clear all night. Um, it's going to be cold weather in Florida, which is great. We hardly get that. Uh, I think it's going to get down into the 30, low, you know, high 30s, low 40s. So that'll be nice. Um, I got my Aperture 60 millimeter uh, refractor telescope outside on the Star Adventurer. Um, I am going to be auto guiding uh, with the ASI Air and uh, ZWO um, 30 millimeter F4 with ASI 120 uh, Mini. And we're going to be going for the Orion Nebula M42, my favorite, um, you know, nebula in the sky. And it's a lot of people's and it was a lot of our first, you know, uh, object that we captured in the sky. So we're going to work on that see if we can get some more data uh, and improve on what we did from last time. So um, I look forward to sharing this adventure with you guys. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, I'm going to keep making them. So I appreciate everybody else that has watched this video and subscribed already. Uh, it's awesome. So, all right, let's get outside and do this. All right, we'll see you out there. All right, we got everything outside. We got the tripod leveled and I did a rough alignment already on it. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to get a precise polar alignment with the ASI Air Pro um, before we start capturing uh, M42, the Orion Nebula. So let's do that. Okay, uh, like I said, we had the rough polar alignment already, so um, what we want to do is put our scope at, so it's at 90 degrees like this, and looking through the viewfinder or on the screen, uh, make sure Polaris is centered in there. Um, we're gonna come down to the ASI Air app, go into PA, I know where it'll show focus preview auto run live, hit PA, and then hit uh, start. Um, this, oh, let me click that again so you can see what that says. Uh, mount no connection, skip while using mount. On the Star Adventure, that's what you want to do. Hit skip, it's going to take the shot, and plate solve. And we'll see. Now what you want to do is rotate the right ascension at uh, 60 degrees. So we'll do that, loosen the clutch, move it over approximately 60 degrees, lock it back in so it'll move, hit next, and rotate it. You see it'll show you how to do it there. And we'll click rotated. It's gonna do another plate solve. Go, let's go. It's actually not too far off. We did come down a little bit. Um, see how this one's telling me to move it right, and this one's telling me to go down. So we're gonna come down just a little bit on this, just a hair. That might have been too much. <clears throat> let's see what it says here. Oh. Good, it's within two seconds, but uh, we're gonna try getting it just a hair better here. And we're gonna refresh. With wide field with what we're doing tonight, that would have been fine. The tracking would have been good, you know, for what we're doing. Uh, you know, that's pretty decent, so we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, hit finish. And then you can go into your uh, preview to start doing your alignment on your target. And let's see here. It's just good enough, so we're gonna move this over and see if turn it on. So it's tracking, loosen the clutch, on the right ascension and on the declination. And let's see if we can get this lined up where we need it here. Loosen this so I can turn the camera as well. So that's straight like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through the viewfinder on my camera so I can find and lined up um, the Orion Nebula here. Look through here. There it is right 
right there. And of course, all right, now, I found it. I'll lock it in, both the red ascension and the declination. And I'm gonna lock the camera in place too. And then what I'm gonna do is a five second exposure and that's gonna get it so we can line up to see where uh, the target's gonna be in the frame here. We'll see. It's gonna take a second to download here. So you can see the line saying it's downloading. You should get a little squiggly line saying it's coming up. It's right there. So we need to move it up and over to the left just a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad for a five second frame here. Let's see if we can do it like this here. Through, uh, live view. This camera's not really that good for it. So we're just gonna do the old. All right. Come over. Hit preview again. See how that looks. There it goes. And it's loading. A little closer. We just need to come up with it a little bit. So let's get that. Use our declination. So then if I want to go up, I'm actually gonna go down, I think. Which way? Try that. I might have went the wrong way, but we'll see. Here it comes. All right. That's actually pretty good right there. That's pretty centered. Um, we can do too is go into tools and hit crosshairs. And it'll show you where it's lined up. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, might mess with it a little bit more here just to go up just a hair more. So we go up, we're gonna go down. Run away again. And yeah, we'll try that. There it goes. <clears throat> That's way off there. I'll come back down with it. Alright. <clears throat> See what it says here in a second. Come on. Sometimes it takes a little longer. All right, I'm gonna pause this and get back to where I want it here. So I'm not chewing up a lot of video time here, but you guys get the picture of it. Sometimes it, uh, you know, takes some a uh, little bit of work to get it to where you want it. So um, we'll be right back. Okay, we got that aligned to where we wanted there. It took me a minute there, so I, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into um, auto run. I'm gonna clear this out here. Delete. And we're gonna change this to today's date, which is the 9th, 21. Hit done. Make sure you hit done when you do that. Not, otherwise it ain't gonna save it. Now, let me turn this brightness down a little bit. We're gonna do exposure, 120 seconds, and we're gonna do 100 of them. And this is gonna be light, so we're gonna leave it on that. Okay. And then, uh, we're gonna do 120 seconds again. We're gonna do 20 of these, and we're gonna do darks. Click okay. Back out of there. Now I'm gonna hit guide over here. I'm gonna pull my guide up. Um, click on 
on there. That should get it going. It's going. We're going to choose a star. I'm trying to find one that has like a nice little peak to it. Just like that. That's good. And hit guide. Declination is off. Confirm. Don't have declination because it's Star Adventure. So. Uh, what this is going to do is going to pretty much calibrate the, um, the the mount. So it's going to go west 12, 13, 14 steps and it'll go back east until it gets back to where it was started originally. Um, if you had declination, it would also do declination, so it would take um, more time, you know. So. Uh, we'll let that finish up and then we'll start again here. Okay, it's just finishing up now. It went back east. There you go, it says start guiding. And once it goes green like that, you're guiding, you're going. So, uh, let me move this. And we're gonna start our auto run that we uh, created here. Um, we do 100 at 120 seconds, uh, there are lights. Uh, we're going to do 20 of 120 seconds for our darks. Um, then we're going to come back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit uh, start capture. And now it's running, camera's going, and uh, the airplane hopefully oh, it's going to fly right in our first shot here. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, so it's going to run. We're going to let that run for uh, the two minutes, and then we'll uh, come back and uh, show you a preview of it. All right, it's just finished up the first one. Let's see what it looks like here. Let me turn those crosshairs off. Turn it to... Oh, nice. You can see there's a lot of good nebulosity in there. The good data in that photo. Let's see if I turn it down so you can see it a little better. Maybe not. But yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna let this run. We've got about look down here it'll tell you four hours and three minutes 54 seconds uh, we're gonna do 120 frames so that's it um, after I uh, get this all uh, stacked and processed in Photoshop and um, we'll get it on here and uh, send out this video to you guys so like I said if you guys like these videos please like and subscribe um, that way I know people are watching and enjoying them. Otherwise, no point in making them, right? All right. Clear shots, everyone. Bye.